And that brings us to lipogenesis, where we can build fatty acids and ultimately um, store lots of energy in the form of triglycerides. Okay, so lipogenesis. This metabolic pathway is anabolic because we're building something. Genesis, we're building something. What? We're building lipids. So when energy status is sufficient in the body, we are gonna wanna take some of that energy and store it for later. So let's take a look at what's gonna happen. Let's say we started at glycolysis, we went through the steps, or we, we start with glucose, we go through the steps of glycolysis, we generate some pyruvate, we generate some acetyl-CoA. But our body has enough energy right now, so we don't wanna send that acetyl-CoA through the Krebs cycle to the electron transport chain, we just don't need to generate more ATP right now. So instead, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take that acetyl-CoA and it's gonna go through a series of chemical reactions um, that are where we're gonna take those two carbons and add two carbons at a time to build a fatty acid. So that's the process of lipogenesis. Now, as we are forming, as we are taking those acetyl as we are taking those acetyl-CoAs and building two by two the uh, fat, fatty acid tails, we are going to have to um, uh, oxidize some NADPH into NADP. Now, um, so oxidize because this NADPH is donating electrons or giving away the hydrogens in order to yield NADP. Now, you may say this is the first time I've heard of NADPH. I've always thought it was just NAD. For our purposes, it's not too important to understand the differences between those two compounds. The other thing that I'd like to point you towards is that this process of taking acetyl-CoA and adding two carbons at a time to build a fatty acid, it requires some energy investment. We have to add some ATP in order to drive these chemical reactions. So again, this is similar to many different anabolic reactions which require an ATP investment. Now, we can we take these uh, acetyl-CoAs and we build them into fatty acids. Unlike glycogen, we have an unlimited uh, ability to store fat, to store the um, energy in the form of triglycerides. So this is really a much more space-efficient, dense way for us to store energy.